Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a perm rod set tutorial um, with the curls pink creamy curl gel from the ultimate styling collection. So I think a tutorial will already be up on my IGTV on my Instagram. So make sure you check out my Instagram, I'll leave it on the screen. Now before this challenge, I've never done a perm rod set before. Let me know if you guys have um, I know it's more popular with kinky style hair rather than my three type, two type. So yeah, if you have a similar texture to me, similar thickness and pattern, then you can try this out for yourself. You'll just need a brush, the rod set gel and some rollers. So Curls recommended me these rollers that I got from Amazon. You can get smaller ones if you want your ringlets to be more tight and smaller. But yeah, I actually needed more. This is like a 40 pack, I think. I'll leave the link down below. I accidentally broke some the first time I did it. So, and I also ran out. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because we're in self-isolation, quarantine, can't really go out and buy some. I'm just gonna do the essential parts and then maybe at the back I'll have some loose bits that I'll just try and roll up with bobby pins or something. And some people like to wash their hair before they do it and like let it dry. Um, that takes a long time. I feel like it will take a long time with my hair because it's super thick. So what I did, so the drying time is a bit quicker, is I left my hair dry. Um, it's been washed last night, so it's still got some conditioner and products in it. And then I brush it out and apply the gel in each section, in each, in each section, which I will show you now. So my hair's looking a bit crazy. It's the morning. I just woke up. Um, I'll quickly read about this gel. So it's formulated with marshmallow root, and it's a very conditioning and thickening formula for curls. And it's super rich in proteins and vitamins. Step one: brush out all your hair. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. My name is Olivia, by the way, and I make a lot of curly videos, lifestyle, and whatever you guys request on my Instagram. I was thinking, what should I call you guys? Like in my intro, should I have a special intro? Like, hey, my little olives or something? <laughs> Maybe not little, hey, my olives. Is that a bit random? You're gonna need a clip to clip up the rest of your hair. Okay, so because I'm low on rollers, I'm going to do the essential parts of my hair first. So last time I did like started from the back and worked my way up, which is probably a better option if you have enough rollers. But I'm just making sure that I get all the essential like pieces of hair that you can actually see with the rollers first. So if you want to get a little bottle, fill it up with water and spray each part first and then apply the gel, that will work. Or if you have a spray styling spray or leave-in conditioner, that will also help nourish your hair. Let's do it! So you've got the elastic and then a clip in. And what I do, I start from the end where it's closed and you, I kind of wrap my hair around rather than just rolling it and when you get to the top you have to make sure that your hair is kind of covering the cap so when you cap it on top it stays nice and tight and secure in place. I'm also doing this section slightly bigger than last time just so I don't run out of rollers but you can do them a lot smaller if you want more definition throughout your hair and more ringlets. Okay, so my whole head is covered and basically it's self-isolation so I don't have to go out today so I'm just going to let it sit like this for the whole day and then when they're dry I'll come back and unravel them all and show you the results. I might get a bit impatient by the end so last time I just kind of blue dried around until it was fully dry at the very end. I'll be back! 
Hello, I'm back. It's been about three hours and they're feeling pretty dry, so I thought I'd unravel them now. I did, oh, there's one bit that fell out. Um, I did blow dry for a bit. I just like did slow motions like this around to make sure it's all dry. Okay, let's take them out. <laughs> so as you unwrap them you can like separate them a bit but yeah they're super defined and bouncy they don't feel crunchy at all it's so satisfying taking these out this just gives my curls a different kind of effect because my natural curls are really wild and can be a bit frizzy and this really makes them even and defined they're still like a tiny, tiny bit moist, but it's fine. Ow. And you can just use your hands to kind of fluff out your roots so you get more volume. But I'm just going to be using this little comb and just going into my roots and shaking it a bit to give me more volume. So this is the finished look using the perm rod method. It's definitely a different style to my normal curls and I love it. I love, it kind of looks like a classic curl hairstyle. All the ringlets are really wide and juicy and the gel does not make them crunchy at all. Like they feel really, really soft and moisturized. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if you try out this method with the curls gel. Check out my other styling videos on my IGTV on Instagram with the curl gels. I'll be posting another styling challenge video soon so stay tuned. You can grab Curl's products online and in store in Target in the US. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!